This is meant to grab us, to make us realize that everything has changed, to show us a totally different way than the ways of religion. In this series, I'll begin to unpack what all this means. First, I have to explain what an epoch is. My name is Paul Hopkins. Welcome to Spiritual Realities, where we look at how to live engaged with spiritual realities within a Christ-centered lifestyle. An epoch is a period of time, hundreds of years, within which a mentality, an understanding of reality, is birthed and governs us. There's an epoch in Scripture before the Great Flood. It describes how humanity and their culture became powerful and twisted until it is destroyed by a Great Flood. And the epoch ends. There's another epoch where a man called Abraham leaves his home city because Elohim speaks to him that he will become a whole different family of peoples. It leads to the birth of a people and a new understanding of how to relate to God. There's the epoch after that, begun by Moses, where he leads the Hebrews out of slavery in Egypt. And the Hebrews are established in their own land. These people wanted Moses to be their intermediary between them and God, instead of relating to God directly. So, God gives them a law, through Moses, to live by. And now we fast forward to the time when Christ comes at the end of this epoch. The Mosaic law ends with the destruction of the temple in AD 70, when no more sacrifices according to the law can be done. No more sacrifice is needed because Christ said he was the fulfillment, the completion of that law. And now we come to this famous chapter in the book of Romans where Paul says, don't be squeezed into the mould of the current epoch. Instead, be transformed in your being by the renewal, by the recreation, the application of the new creation epoch into your life. So what Paul is saying in this famous passage, do not allow yourself to be shaped by the pattern, the culture of the world, it doesn't mean don't live sexually immoral lives, don't steal, don't murder. Of course, but he's saying something deeper than that. The word often translated world is the Greek word for epoch. He's saying don't live from the mentality and understanding of reality that is currently in power. He says, allow your whole being and thinking to be molded by another epoch, the epoch of new creation. He's saying the new creation is here if you can see it. We're in a new age, a new grasp of reality, of God and how we're connected to him. Live from it. He's saying the religion of the past is gone. Humanity has changed entirely because of Christ. Have your eyes opened and live from that. Let me say that again. Humanity has changed entirely because of Christ. Are we living from the wrong age? We'll look at that in the next video. In the meanwhile, perhaps you want to come and explore and grow in these things in the community link below. So, see you there or in the next video. 
And if you want to know how it's possible to see God's face, watch this video.